Um, we're uh, a combination of Lithuanian and Latvian and Galiziana. On my father's side, uh, they come from a small town called Veksnia, in which is north of Kovna in Lithuania. And my grandfather was sent to America when he was about 13 alone uh, to, I think, escape the military. And he got over here um, and was sent to East New York with a name who he couldn't find. So he uh, made it by himself. I think the first place he rented was a $5 a week uh, permission to sleep in a bathtub. He had to arrive at 9 o'clock at night and leave by 6 in the morning. And from there he worked his way up. Uh, my grandmother, uh, who he married, has her history was hidden for years until my grandfather was about 88 and he was now alone and he would spend time with me when I come home from college. I would go visit him. And then he kind of spilled the beans and told me that actually he had been the child, really a love child, of a white slaver who, uh, whose special prostitute had a child by him, and that was my grandmother. And when he left Argentina, they must have been part of the Argentinian Jews, had come in in the late 1880s, and they came up through Argentina to, he stopped in East New York and dropped my grandmother off with the Smiths, who were Latvian, and then he went up to Canada and disappeared. And the Smiths, who took my grandmother in, never let her forget to be grateful, which left a very bitter mark on her. And she looked hard and fast to find a likely suitor, which was my grandfather. And I think she was about 16 when she married him. And she's, one of the things she said right away, George, I'm going to knock that Yiddish accent out of you. She never let him talk Yiddish, which is one of the reasons I'm here.